is Denise from Steve's Art. I've had such a wonderful day. It's good to be in my painting smock <laughs> and uh, ready to do a part two on this beautiful piece. Uh, if you can remember yesterday, uh, we were working on uh, getting the tree of life and all the little baby trees. It looks so good. Um, sorry for the glare, but I'm hoping in the future I'll fix that for you. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you down and we're going to start applying, I know this sounds weird, but another background layer. We're going to background layer this until we're ready to, to build the tree. We've got the tree, but we need to get that background down. And I want to put in some sky elements and uh, kind of diminish some of this dark green we got down here. We had a little too much. Um, it's okay. <laughs> we can take this. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you down, but before I do, I want to give a shout out to Rafi was here at the studio real quick because uh, he was talking about burnout on uh, his channel and I told him I totally agree. My favorite phrase is whatever. And uh, <laughs> when I get burned out, that's my favorite phrase because, you know, life's too short. So, whatever. <laughs> so, I wanted to give him a shout out, show him my blankie. Oh no. Let him know it wasn't bullshitting him when, when I totally agreed. So, all right, with that going forward, and if you haven't seen his channel, do so. Wonderful tips on selling your art, um, beautiful tips from the heart every single time. So just do that. Um, if you need a link, I'll put it in my descriptions. Definitely. Okay, so, um, or you can go to my, my video page. He's right there with all my face. But I'll put the link. <laughs> <coughs> all right, down we go, guys. Let's have some fun. Let's finish this baby. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to change. Uh, if this video seems a little too dark, um, I'm going to leave it that way. Only because um, I try to use my video tools to brighten it up. And, um... I think it got too bright. I kind of lost, uh, I think you all lost uh, the ability to see what was going on. I'm going to try to bring you down a little bit. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on for dear God. There you go. So you're a little closer. Um, like I said, I'm going to be getting um, uh, something called a, a U-Green uh, tool that will literally clamp onto my thingy over here and be right over my head. and and y'all will be able to see everything that's going on and hopefully the light that I have in the room will be enough. And you know, I think, I don't know, but I think you can get uh, like a, I don't know, an app on your computer that is like a light, like a fluorescent, that your computer just turns into a light. <laughs> if that's possible, let me know. All right, um, again, my disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I, I do have a lot of fun trying. So um, if you learn something from what I'm doing, that's great, um, because I'm always learning with everything I do, and that's and that's the joy of, of what I'm doing. So let's get this puppy going. Uh, we're going to be using, and I don't know if it's in this video, I had these out yesterday, uh, these pens that I have my homemade inks in, plus uh, some pinata white, and that's for the details on the tree. Um, I'm also going to be using um, some inks I made uh, from uh, Sharpies. This one is a fluorescent pen, a metallic pink. I don't know. I think it's going to look really good in this guy. I don't know. <laughs> um, over here I have, uh, again, Sharpies, my Sharpie collection. I have a light brown, burnt sienna, a blood orange, um, a forest gray. Martian green for whatever that means and uh, Venus green. I got Martian and Venus together. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, they're in the sky and a dark purple. And of course, um, blending solution, which is really good. Um, you don't want to use too much alcohol when you're doing this with that alcohol because then everything kind of gets into these little circles. And you're not looking for that. You're looking for blending and, and moving of elements there. If I wanted that pop, um, I would do this, you know, that's where the alcohol gives you those, those really cool pops. But if y'all remember, uh, this is alcohol ink on, on um, 
on a board that I had um, I had used a glass um, thing to get the effects, which is kind of cool. If you haven't seen that video, I can move this to link. Literally, you should see the big one though, because that's the most gorgeous one. It crackle without crackling paint. It's so beautiful. Um, my mother-in-law about lost her mind when she saw it. Okay, so. Let's get going. Enough yap, yap, yap. I can do that too much. Um, I'm gonna pull out uh, my new best friend here. And um, I'm initially gonna go ahead and give it a rip. Oh, that's a beautiful texture. And let's, let's start with this fluorescent pink, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna, I'm also gonna drop that down over here um, where we put the, the metallic acrylic yesterday. Not that it's gonna make a difference. Like I care. They're all related. Who cares? Again, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not gonna waste my latex. <laughs> I'm not going to work tomorrow. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. That's really cool. Hmm. So it shows up, but it doesn't show up. Like I said, this is an experiment. Let's see. More. Let's just put it directly on the piece. Ooh. Oh gosh, that's pretty. It's uh, kind of given off like this very faint pink. Ugh. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> hey. Where are you going? It's kind of giving the sky like a, like a sunset thing. I love it. Okay, let's do it over here. really pretty. Let's put a drop in there. Oh my gosh. Well that surprised me. Let's go a little down here. It's more of a desert look. Very nice. Gosh, I so love this. Wow. All right. Very happy with that. Thank you, metallic pink from a Sharpie. You done good. <laughs> All right. Now um, let's add some um, sun bright yellow. This is a thinned out uh, a Jakarta uh, pinata collection. And I'm just going to use the same. Uh, the same squeegee, why not? Oh, oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm more at the, um, the reactions I'm getting here. That's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show it to you here in a second. I'll do this half in the yellow and then um, I won't touch that half and then y'all can see the difference with the yellow and the pink. But I guess I want to try to have like a sunset in, in the desert with this beautiful tree. So this, this is the one half that I've done, and um, you can see the other half. It does not have the yellow. So let me show you the yellow. And this half does not have the yellow. Which is okay, because I think 
we'll let the sun set over here. <laughs> so let's add some more of that. Yeah, I love it. Again, this is thinned out with um, alcohol. Take some yellow on the Sahara Desert. <laughs> I'm going to pause this for a brief second and see if I can't get a box to bring this up higher so y'all can get a better view of what's going on here right back. Hey guys, we're back and I, I hope you can see this better. I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe one more layer up. Uh, this is the best I can do for now. <laughs> I can't wait to get my overhead camera because that should be able to zoom right in on whatever it is I'm doing. Okay, so we have this beautiful yellow going on on this side. Great. You can um, kind of see where it looks like the sun is, is almost uh, really breaking through there. Uh, <laughs> Best to protect your work surface because you're going to make a mess. <laughs> These are, are where I store my pens. Okay, so now I want to get, um, I know this seems a little counterintuitive but I'm going to use the same pen and I'm going to use um, some diluted Baja Blue with uh, the same colors I have in here which might make a green we don't know <laughs> if it does I'll stop right away and it is so we'll get a new one that's okay Live and learn. Alright, so I have the other piece and I'm just going to add some of this diluted blue on there. And I'm going to kind of go in hard. Still kind of making green because of the yellow. <laughs> That's okay. by air and fire. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and put some of that um, blue on the other side. I might even go a little darker. I'm not sure. I might really want to go darker. I don't know. I guess you want the lighter toward the bottom and the deeper toward the top. Right? Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Oh. It's like I really don't want to mess with it anymore, but I want to mess with it a lot. Oh, get over here, sweetie. Alright, so... What else did I want to do? I wanted to get some very translucent yellow in here. And for that, oh no. I'm going to use this Mr. Sharpie because it's got some red in it and I love that. So I was going to, it's got red and purple. And some really cool textures, so let's just squirt the heck out of this. And this is a uh, this is a sharp yellow. Ah, we're getting some other colors out of it. Ooh, ooh. That green's coming out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's use the bottom. I see you yellow, I raise you a yellow. I see you, I see you. <laughs> so we've kind of determined um, which way the sun is. So everything over here is going to be a little bit darker. Everything over here is going to have that wonderful, that sun kiss. That's kind of nice, I like it. <laughs> all right all right guys so i will see you in a few when this dries hi guys welcome back and um i got a little you know hyperactive whilst waiting for all this to dry i wanted to start on my ground i think i've got enough of the sky done until after we use the shoe polish 
on the tree you know I think I've got a beautiful sunset thing going on over here and uh, the shoe polish will add a beautiful sense of depth and darkness I want to work on the foliage I want to work on the, the, the critters underneath and so I started with a little straight up green and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to that I'm going to add um, some thinner colors with alcohol and uh, we're going to watch that blow around for a little bit um, <laughs> we are you ready? <laughs> I'm going over the trees. Because, uh, uh -oh. Gosh, what's the matter with you? This kind of gives us like a translucent uh, look into the depths of this forest down here. Because uh, this is the tree of life, but this is uh, this is my forest. <laughs> So I can do whatever I want. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Alright. Ah. If you could just see those little critters in there, that's just amazing. Okay. Why are you so noisy? Uh, oh, I'm not. Yeah. Why are you so noisy? You better over there? Oh, I just got alcohol ink on my my lottery ticket. That's okay, it'll still be liable. <laughs> Very legible. Okay, let's add some um, some of the magic of white uh, just to the bottom. Not anywhere else. Oh. That's a tricky one. Owie. Ooh. Let me make sure I shook it after all that work. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. We got this. Ah, just a little that'll do her. It's really probably going to be a way in the next video where I can smooth out that noise for y'all. I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm wondering if I take my... Uh, Probably gonna be as simple as this. Watch. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. Okay. Let me just move my little box. Let's see. How's that sound now? Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> okay, so um, let's continue on that path, but let's let's go with a strong yellow. And uh, I want to do that all up in here. And uh, then we'll use some thin yellow too, as well. Uh, yellow is always translucent in the pinata collection, so I love it. Kind of break up the monotony here. And then uh, we'll add some Martian green. Yeah, Martian green it is. And we're just building layers, layers of, of forest colors. Oh, hello, how you doing over there? How you doing? How are you doing? Ooh, that Martian green looks really pretty with white. Need a 
Oh, there it is. Oh, that's gorgeous. So we got some Martian green. Of course, you know we're gonna have to go with the Venus green here in a second just to see the difference. <laughs> Venus. Now I'm just gonna pop it on there. All right, so that was Martian green with the white, and um, I'll show you what that looks like. It's pretty cool. That's Martian green with the white. That's really, really nice canopy stuff there, or <clears throat> forest floor stuff. Now let's try the Venus green. <laughs> I don't know. That's Sharpie for you. They got names for everything. darker. Actually, she's going to look really nice up inside the tree. So, so we have the Venus down. Let's add a little white and see how she plays. So many different layers we just created of this uh, beautiful underground field to see. I want to do the Venus up through the tree. Yeah. It's beautiful green. I don't know where it came from. Venus, of course. <laughs> I don't think so. I think Sharpie has a good sense of humor. Let's put some down here. Let it play with that blue. Up you go, Kakuma. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. happy with this um it's uh like the forest floor has just come to life you know and um and although i've got a lot of stuff out here guys we're gonna be <laughs> good for you denise that's not gonna work no matter how many times you try <laughs> um i'm gonna call this one a day and uh um because i have so much i want to do and i have to think about it because um I love the effects. Uh, I love the effects over here. You know, it's like uh, like the forest has come to life. You know, but I don't want to detect, de uh, detract from the trees. <laughs> I love um, this the layering of these beautiful greens and and these light uh, lighter greens, and I don't want to take away from the trees in the back either. Uh, we've got a grand, grand start to a beautiful sunset up there. Um, we might even have the sun, like, right there, setting. Um, I like how the other side is a little bit darker and um, working its way. And I guess, what, you know what we're going to do tomorrow? Let's, uh, tomorrow we're just going to work on the tree colors. Maybe I'll make that video tonight and we'll have them all tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you real soon. This is part two of uh, Glue Tree on Tile. Ciao, Ben.